Hello my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Esther, I'm a Pilates instructor and today we're gonna do some Pilates and mobility exercises to release tension from our neck, okay? So we're going to start in quadruped position, hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. First one, we're going to do our scapula push-up here, chest down, chest up and squeeze under the armpit, chest down, chest up. Try to maintain your spine completely still here. Good. And the ribs to hip connection so you are not arching here. The back is just working on our shoulder blades. So squeeze them and then spread them. One more time. Our next exercise here is a circle. Scapula circle to mobilize your upper back to start to release tension from your thoracic spine. Change the direction of the circle. Try to maintain your neck aligned, not the chin tuck. Keep it aligned with the rest of your spine. This might feel a bit weird, depending on how tight we are. Okay, stay still, shoulders away from the ears, and we're gonna poke the head out, up, retract out and up squeezing these little muscles here that you have in your neck not squeezing so much it's actually just activating them so keeping your chin tuck it's just the neck working i was doing this couple of push-up again so just the neck good one more time and now we see it we do a, we're going to do some control articular rotations for our neck. So I want you to engage your core muscles, keep the shoulders completely relaxed. You can squeeze your feet here if you want and bring here chin to chest. And we're gonna draw circles here with our neck. Keep your eyes wide open. Check all the corners of the room. Your chin goes to one side, all the way up, other side, back to the center. Very good, very important that we move our cervical spine too because we are in this position all the time in front of our phones or the computer, so we're looking like this. Retract, squeeze, let's do circles. We are gentle circles, try to keep the rest of the body completely still. We do one more. And bring the head back to center. All right, the next one, similar to what we did in quadruped position, we're gonna pop the head out and then retract and squeeze in these muscles in here. Out and then retract. Good. Try to keep the chin parallel to the floor, not out, down or up, okay? Parallel to the floor, forward, and back, squeezing here these muscles. And now we hold here. Put the hand here on your on your chin, and the other one hand, the other hand here on the back of your head. And we're gonna do a gentle stretch, tucking the chin in. We hold here. It's gentle. You don't have to push it. We wanna keep the spine straight. And we're gonna hold here and breathe. Maintain your shoulders relaxed. You can hold here 30 seconds, up to one minute, I will say it is enough. Breathing. And slowly bring your head back up. Do one more circle here. Then change the direction. Good. Now a little bit of strength. Stomach on the mat. I'm gonna do a baby cobra lift. Put the hands on the shoulders. Roll the shoulders down and back. Squeeze between your scapulas. Keep your chin tuck, eyes are looking down. And we gently lift the chest up and down. It's a small movement. We wanna draw the tip of the scapulas down. 
and squeeze between them. Squeeze your glutes. Let's do five more of these. Keep the shoulders down and back. If you're rounding the shoulders here, then we're gonna create more tension on our neck muscles. We want to release the tension from there and strengthen our upper back. Last one. And rest. Shift the hips here from one side to the other. We have one more exercise here. Extending the arms overhead. Keep your chin tucked and the neck aligned with the spine. This is a prone angel. Palms are facing down. We lift the chest. Whoops, no space. Bend the elbows. Extend, chest down. Lift the chest. Bend the elbows. Extend, chest down. And again, up, bend, extend, and down. Notice that my neck is completely aligned with my back. I'm not lifting the neck up or tucking the chin too much. Eyes are looking down. Let's do three more of these. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Squeeze your glutes here too to protect your lower back. One more time. And we rest, shifting the hips here from one side to the other. Place the hands under your shoulders and push yourself back into quadruped position. We have one of my favorite exercises here. When I put the hand, one hand in the middle, and with the other one, we wanna breathe in and open, out and twist. And open and twist. Rotate your spine. Great. To release tension again. That's the whole purpose of this flow. One more time, and we stay here on the mat. Shoulder and the side of your head. Keep the buttocks up here. If you want more, with this hand, the one that you have in front of your face, push the floor away and add an extra twist here to your upper back. Very gentle. Very gentle. And let the breath flow in and out of you with ease. Good. You can stay here for as long as you want. 30 seconds to one minute and a half is enough. Come back to the center. Let's do the other side. Quadruped position. One hand in the middle. Breathing and open out. Rotate. Eyes are following the hand. Breathing out. Use your breath here to help you with the movement. Good. Last one. We stay here with the shoulder on the mat and the side of your head. And we breathe. Again. With the hand that you have in front of your face, push the floor away and rotate a little bit more. Good. God, it feels good. One of my favorite. Rotate. Always gentle. With our spine, we are gentle. We don't have to push it, okay? Explore how far you can go without aggravating any situation. And if you've been in pain or with lots of tension for a while, I will always, always recommend you that you see a professional before doing any kind of workout. One more time. All right, and come back to the center. Give it an extra roll to your shoulders in here. Good. If you want more, please check the links below and enjoy more exercises like this to help you relax, restore, recharge, and feel ready for your day or before bed. And that's it. We are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, leave me a below give me some feedback a thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video thank you